Hello and welcome to the lucky 13th devlog for Blue Sky Aces, a retro World War I flight simulator for those looking for something at the lighter end of flight simulators. Firstly, my apologies for this devlog being a bit late. I've been in Rarotonga for a family wedding for the last week, and not surprisingly it proved a little difficult to motivate myself to sit in front of a computer while holidaying on a tropical island. That said, I did manage to get some good stuff done before I left, and a couple of useful items done while I was away, so let's get into it. The big item worked on before going away was an upgrade system for the aircraft. The idea here is that many aircraft during the war had multiple variants and experimental prototypes built, as well as numerous ad hoc modifications done in the field. The goal of the upgrade system is to allow you to pimp out each of your aircraft with various upgrades such as improved engines, additional or alternative weapons, bombs, rockets and many other aircraft improvements. The way it works is that you select which upgrade you want to research for an aircraft and then certain actions within the game, like downing an enemy aircraft, gain you research points towards the upgrade. So far the basic mechanics of the system have been completed, however there's still more work to do to polish it off, such as icons, translations for each upgrade, and implementing some of the upgrade systems such as bombs and rockets. I expected that I wouldn't have a reliable internet connection while I was away, so the plan was to import the updated aircraft models into the game for the last two aircraft in the demo that still need updating, as this didn't require me to be online. That said, the internet options actually turned out to be pretty good, and not too badly priced for a remote tropical island in the South Pacific. In the end, the biggest limiting factor turned out to be the fact that I took my old laptop, as I didn't want to risk my newer one, and this was just better suited for certain tasks. So I stuck with the plan and focused on updating the remaining aircraft models. The first aircraft model to update was the Albatross C3. This mid-war general purpose two-seat biplane there's some rather unusual features relating to the engine that cause some interesting problems. The first is the number of exhaust and radiator pipes that come out of the engine and obstruct the pilot's vision. It proved difficult to find really good images of exactly how these pipes look to the pilot's point of view. So we had to take some creative liberties here to try and create something that matched the available images while still providing enough forward visibility. The other item was a large radiator mounted just below the leading edge of the upper wing which also obstructed the pilot's vision. In this case, we haven't done anything special as, while it isn't great, it probably is representative of what it was really like to fly one of these aircraft. The other aircraft to get an updated model was the Newport 17. This single seat fighter had outstanding maneuverability and was considered one of the best fighters of the period when it was introduced. In fact, it was so good that the Germans created a couple of unlicensed copies. This model turned out to be fairly straightforward to update as the aircraft doesn't have any of the visibility issues like the Albatross, and the cockpit layout is generally very good. We've also created a some additional textures for this aircraft, as it was used by a number of countries during the war. The plan will be to trial adding support to fly more countries by swapping out the textures based on the country. This said, this feature is probably still a while away from being implemented. Over the next week, I'm aiming to finish off the remaining items planned for the next demo update and to get the update released so you can see firsthand what we've been up to. As always, if you've got any suggestions for new aircraft or features, then please drop a comment below, or check out the Discord server where I try to provide daily updates. There's a link in the description. If you enjoyed this, then please hit the like button, and click subscribe to ensure that you don't miss out on the next update. If you'd like to give the game a try, then check out the link in the description to the game's Steam page. The demo is free to install and play so long as you have a Steam client installed, which is also free. Don't forget to wishlist it so you'll be notified when the game is released.